Hi, this is Tom Rowe, Product Evangelist for CitrusStack, and welcome to another CitrusStack tutorial, part of the Quick Start series that I'm creating to uh, help you get CitrusStack set up and going as quickly as possible. This will be another short video, hopefully, uh, more, no more than a few minutes. In my previous video, which you can get to by clicking the link, uh, you will see how easy it is to install CenterStack and get everything up and running. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to set up that security certificate so you don't get this warning, uh, your users don't get this warning when they try and access your secure website. Okay, so let's get started. So in a browser, I'm going to search for Certify the Web, and that'll take me to the certifytheweb.com website where I can download their uh, latest stable release. And this is going to uh, really simplify the process of getting that certificate installed. And they're using Let's Encrypt. And uh, together they're trying to secure the web and make uh, installing certificates easy for anyone that has a website. So um, it's absolutely free and really easy to do. So you just install the executable that downloaded and a few minutes later you're ready to go. So you can see a quick start guide if you'd like. There's choose domains, authorize, preview, and there is no step four. So it's pretty easy. Uh, we go to settings first. Now I've already put my contact information in here, but you would start by adding a new contact. This is the person that's, con that's contacted when you know it's time to renew or there's other issues with the certificate. So then you just hit uh, yes, I agree, and then register the contact. I'm going to cancel that. Now, <clears throat> then you would go to uh, new certificate, and you want to change this to the default website, or if you have multiple websites, then it might be different. But I'm going to just use the default, and then I add my domain to the certificate. File share at ac.acmedrive.com, add domain. So that's ready to go. Then I go to authorization. And uh, in here, I'm going to need to pull up my uh, IIS, uh, Info Internet Information Services Manager, and navigate to the sites under that computer. And uh, go to default website, choose basic settings. Now I'm going to copy the physical path into my clipboard. And uh, jump back over to the authorization settings, and I'm going to put in my domain that I'm matching here, fileshare.acquidar.com, and I want to paste the website root directory in here. I'm going to leave those to the default configuration and go to deployment. Now under deployment, I'm going to set that to single site. Then I uncheck existing binding and check binding host name. Then go to show advanced. I can look at this, everything looks good. I'm gonna leave it to the defaults. I'm gonna hit test. Now it's testing. Um, it's successful. So I exit that and then go to request my certificate. It's registering domain identifiers, registering certificate doing automated functions, setting it up. Now I go to my setting, and in here, you can see that we have uh, some defaults that I'm going to leave alone, and the auto renewal interval in days, I can increase that if I want. But I'm going to leave those settings to the defaults, and then I'm going to open configure auto rename. Now in here, uh, I'm going to use the background service runs as local system, which is the default. I could also schedule this uh, if I wanted to. Now I'm going to save my changes. Okay, so back to the IIS. I'm going to go to bindings. And you don't have to do this because everything was done, but I want to show you where the settings are. And under the SSL certificate, you can see that it has added my new certificate. And if I hit view, I can see my certificate. Uh, the from and to dates, I can hit certi certification path and see that it's OK. I hit OK and I'm going to close those two windows without changing anything. 
So if you then uh, check out that window, that browser that we looked at at the beginning where you get your connection is not private, I just want to show you what you'll get when everything is in place. You hit refresh to reload this page and then it works and uh, that is awesome just like I promised. Now there are a few more settings you have to do inside the server and I'll get to those in the next video. So uh, this is Tom and I'll see you in the next one.